Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be doing a video on Supergirl Season 4. So we're going to be going over all the new casting news, because we've got some major news to talk about. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Sorry that my voice is, once again, very, very quiet, I'm still not feeling well, and it's mainly to do with my throat, I think I have a bad throat infection, so, and that is why I've been maybe sounding a bit different in the past few videos over the weekend with Comic Con and stuff like that, so I apologise for that. So, we're going to be breaking down this casting news, so the big one is the character of Nia Now, who is the newest addition to Team Supergirl, and she's going to be at CatCo this season, and she's going to be the first ever transgender superhero on TV, which is absolutely crazy, and I'm really, really excited for this, and she's going to be playing the character Dreamer, who isn't really a comic book character there is some dreamers in the comics but i don't think they're going with that i'll talk about what i think they're actually going with the person that has been cast to actually play the role of nia now is actually nicole mains and some of you guys may know her she's a trans activist and she is actually only in her early 20s and she's going to be a new role model for a new generation which i'm really excited about and i'm very happy for her because i've been going through some of her documentaries and actually catching up with her life and stuff like that before I see her in Supergirl and it's all really inspiring so I'm really excited for her and so the character description of Nia now says a soulful young transgender woman with a fierce drive to protect others Nia's journey this season means fulfilling her destiny as a superhero dreamer much like Kara came into her own as Supergirl. So, wow, that really, really excites me, and the character that I think they're actually adapting is Dream Girl from the Legion of Superheroes, because in the comics her name is Nura now, which is very similar to Nia now, and her character name, her superhero name is Dreamer, and in the comics it's Dream Girl, so come on, that's a bit too obvious. I think she is a Legion of Superheroes character, or maybe she will be in the future, but I think they are adapting her in some way, and obviously adding that transgender twist to it. So I'm excited for her character, let me know if you guys are in the comments below, but anyway, moving on to the next casting, and so the next casting is that April Parker Jones has been cast as a new colonel on the show, and she's called Colonel Haley, and this is her description. Hardline career military woman who lives and dies by the orders of her commanding officers. Dedicated to her country, she always acts in its best interests, even if it's not in her own. And so finally, the last one is T-Massive, and this is going to be, you know, one of the main villains of the season. I think he's not going to be the total big bad, but as we've been talking about him recently, Manchester Black has been cast, and David Ajala is actually going to be playing him and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right I'm really sorry but he is a British actor and he's from Hackney which is great because I'm from around that area and he was also in The Dark Knight he was in a few other things so he's an upcoming actor and I'm really excited because Manchester Black is an interesting villain in the comics you guys may have seen him in one of the Superman animated films he was a cool character in that and so the description for his character is the type of guy who brings a knife to a gunfight and still walks away the winner. With a dark past, he easily deflects the brutality of his mission with his charm and sense of humour. So, obviously, they want that very British sense of humour. Coming from Hackney, that is like the perfect sense of humour. Like, they are hilarious, most North Londoners. And I can say that from experience. And so, he's going to be a twisted character, and I don't think he's going to be the main villain. But what they said was that the Red Daughter storyline is going to be teased at the start of the season. And then as we head towards the mid-season finale, we're going to be meeting that Russian version of Supergirl. And we're going to be exploring that a lot. And I think she will be the overall main villain by the end of the season. So... Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, that is all I wanted to talk about in this video, obviously we had some massive news, the first ever transgender superhero has been cast, so Nicole Maines is coming to the show, she was actually at Comic Con which was really awesome, really enjoyed seeing her, and also we got Manchester Black and we got a new casting description for a new Colonel character, 
who is going to be pretty interesting because we didn't really get any of those characters last season but the previous seasons we've had quite a lot of those so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys later goodbye